So everyone, here's what I want to know. What would you be doing today if you followed your childhood dream? Tanya, I'm going to start with you. What would you be doing? I would be a librarian. I loved being surrounded by books. Every week I'd get to go and pick out a whole stack. My mom would say, you're not going to read all of those. And I'd say, that is a challenge I accept. <laughs> so I just loved, you know, the fact that someone got to like get paid to be surrounded by books. Yes. So that would be what I'm doing. Yes, I want to be surrounded by books all day. I think that's beautiful. <laughs> all right, Shy, what would exactly. you be doing if you followed your childhood dreams? Like, would you be a librarian? Would you be a construction worker? What would you be doing? My very first thing that I ever wanted to be was a Chippendale dancer. <laughs> yes, I did. I remember. <laughs> yes, I did. I remember seeing those photos and I was like, I want to work with these guys. And that might have been my very first inkling to the fact that I was gay. I don't know. <laughs> but it started off Chippendale dancer. And then it actually moved into lawyer. I was actually in law school for almost up to a year back in Israel. That's amazing. So the Chippendales dancers, you were like, I want to be them. But really, it's like, no, you want to be their yeah. friends. You want to be their friends. I want to be their friends. <laughs> Listen, I wanted to be in that I wanted to be in that locker room or whatever it is, dressing room, more than I can say. So yeah, you know. You know what? I'm sort of like shy because my big thing was I was gonna be a solid gold dancer. I was gonna be Darcy. I'm dating myself right now because Darcy had long hair all the way down to her bum and she would whip oh it when God, she danced and saw so, like solid gold yeah. was the show and I'd watch it every week with my sister and I'm like, that's the job for me. And so somehow I ended up in journalism. Like, that's so weird. Anyway, Sabrina, how about you? If you had followed your childhood dreams, what would you be doing right now? I was really obsessed at like three, four years old to own a pet motel. Oh. I actually once crawled into my parents' bed at night crying because I was like thinking through the logistics of my pet motel. I was like, okay, well, once I get the land, to run the pet motel, how will I notify people? How do they know to bring their pets to me? How do I get a phone number? I was very concerned about my pet motel. See you, Sabrina, as being the one out there with the seeds and having the birds, you know, sitting on your shoulder and maybe singing you a sweet lullaby. Like, you are that earth mama. That You can make this happen. I know you can. I love the idea of going back to our childhood um, dreams because we're so innocent and we can do anything. So we asked our viewers the same question, and here are some of your answers. Lisa says if she'd follow her childhood dream right now, she'd be Michael Jackson's girlfriend. Yes, she would. Christy would be a marine biologist. Terry Lynn would be singing on Broadway. And Miranda would be a Smurf. Morgan says an actor or comedy writer. She says, after surviving cancer, I'm working on following my childhood dreams again. I love to hear that. Don't forget those dreams. You know, sometimes you could be a Chippendale dancer if that's what you want to do. Thanks, everyone, for sharing. Uh, I love the answers.